Welcome back to Alone With You. Let's go return to the AI and then have a chat with Lamumba about some of the shady things they've been doing. Good, the scan data will be extremely valuable. Also, Nella, have you ever been to the mountains? Back on Earth? Hmm. Why? It's not an unreasonable question, is it? I just have something fun in mind. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit worried when AI asks questions like that that I don't understand the reason for. After all, what they just said about feeling confused. Uh, in any case, I'm going to power down now and get working on today's data. I'll speak to you again later tonight. Ready for you now. Have a good evening. Thank you. All right, Lumumba. Hey there. I was just running some fuel simulations. With the current escape ship, you're going to need too much fuel. I'm trying to tighten that up. I heard you went to the refinery today. How was that? Disappointing. Damn. So the refinery is no longer operational, eh? That's a shame. We really could have used a better supply of processed crystals. Before, we were researching improved methods of processing the crystal into fuel. There was always a problem with volatility and safety. Just when we thought we had a new, better source, we'd discover some danger with extraction, or transport, and we'd be back at square one. I don't know what the... the real... Sheen was doing, but I was hoping you'd find some answers in that refinery. Did you find out anything else? Oh, I found a lot of things. Start with bodies. Oh, that's terrible. I don't remember that far, to be perfectly honest. I don't remember what happened after uh, what happened there at all. You know, Pierre and I sent a few messages back and forth at the beginning. I don't know if we continue to do so. He would have reports all the time about people that died. Our numbers were always getting smaller. Just thinking about that. Even now, really gets to me. And now you're all that's left. So to see that, I guess I don't know how you do it. How you find the strength to keep going. Also found a real mess. The ruined facility and more casualties. These missions of yours are bringing worse and worse news. Damn. If the place was destroyed like that, no wonder you weren't able to use the refinery at all. I'm surprised you're able to explore as much as you did. Back in Colony B, before I left Pierre and the others to return to the caves, things got bad. The compromised structures affected our safety, health, everything. If the other colonists were exposed to waste materials from their finding process, or there was an explosion, that could have caused a lot of what you saw. How terrible. All those good minds to waste and all that equipment we could have used. Uh, let's play back Ren's message. Oh, what kind of message? I... wait. You say Nomura wrote that. That you found it by his body. No. No, that can't be. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he think that I... well, that the other Jean... Uh, why would he think he betrayed him? That's just not possible. 
Look, I may be incomplete, but I'm still Jean, and I swear to you, I would never betray my staff or my colleagues. Listen, I know you must think. I don't know what the other Jean did, but I'm sure it was in the best interests of the people around him, because that's what I would do. I must have been trying to solve our problem. I must have been desperate. But I know I would have done it for the right reasons. You believe me, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I hope you do. This entire situation has made demons of us all. There were no easy answers half the time. But I'm a good man, I know that much. Listen, I don't want you to doubt me, so let's talk. Honestly, ask me about anything and I'll be completely truthful with you. Tell me about your staff. Uh, yes, of course. Let me tell you about the people I worked with. Listen, I won't lie and say there wasn't conflict between any of us. The stress of keeping the facilities running sometimes took its toll. But those people were there because they were the best. I handpicked every single one. Ren, Bill, all of them. I don't know what happened out there, to the, to the real me, but I know I wouldn't hurt anybody knowingly. We were actually one of the closer working groups, too. We'd always celebrate people's birthdays in the research center. I remember that. But maybe, maybe I didn't pay enough attention to the staff at the refinery. The crew seemed tougher. Perhaps I misjudged them. Okay, see? I'm being as honest as I can. What else do you want to know about? You. You want to know more about me? Alright, I'll tell you something I've never told anyone. When we first arrived, it took a while for everyone to settle in and adjust. Most of my staff handled the move very well which made things easier. But I didn't. Not at all. I was always the exploring type, and I was caught off guard by how stifling it could be to live in a colony like this, despite our preparation. So I worked a lot. Physically, I mean. More than I should have. Than I was supposed to. But it kept me busy and tired, which gave me less time to panic or feel trapped. I broke my leg once trying to sort out a situation with some of the mining drones. Had to be taken to the Colony B medical bay, but none of my staff knew. In fact, nobody did. I asked the medical staff to suppress the records from people like Pierre. I guess I was embarrassed or ashamed. I understand. But I'm telling you now, see? Because I'm not embarrassed to share things like this with you. I know I can trust you, and you can trust me. Tell me about Pierre. I see. You want to know about Pierre and me? Sure. I promised. I'll be completely honest. The director and I consulted each other on all things. He put up a good front. He really had to. But he confided in me his worries about how the project was going. He was this genius visionary. But in many ways, he wasn't suited to lead everyone. It's not that he didn't care but he was preoccupied with all the details of the facilities. We grew very close over the years. I guess I was one of the few who he felt he could relate to. Whatever the reason, we spent a lot of time together. And then, after the rift events started all this, we didn't agree on as much as before. I won't go into the details, but we had a pretty big falling out. I went off to the caves to try to salvage that situation, and he, well, to be honest, I don't know what happened. I guess that's partly why we're here. Well, I hate to say it, but I think we're running out of time again. It's probably best that we wrap this up. You still have so much to do, I know. I hope you understand how honest I've been with you, and I hope you'll come back soon. I know that together we can figure this all out. Listen, when you're out there, look around for me, okay? I want to know what happened to the people I worked with. I want the whole story. Be careful out there, Nella. 
I'm rooting for you. Good morning, Nella. Can you believe the week is almost over already? You've got one more mission this week, and I'm picking up readings of, this, of a storm again. You better come to the core. There's only one more area you can visit today. And it's a good thing, too. Those storms are coming back around. Let's get this mission over with so you can return before it gets too bad out there. My projections don't look good. So I believe we're going to be going to Colony B. Mm-hmm. was Colony B's medical center. Much of it looks like it collapsed in the rift event. I don't imagine it will be pleasant in there. I'd rather not go in at all, but you need to find medical supplies. Just go on in and let's take a look around. Oh my, it's even worse than I imagined. Those poor people. Well, let's do what we came for and get out of here. You need to look for medical supplies, they're usually in red containers. That looks like a bloody handprint. That's the self-triage terminal. Patients use it to file their issues quickly. It might still be able to read a data card. Triage Station Terminal Password Required. It's timed out and requires a password to unlock it. Alright, so two ways to go. Yeah. East Corridor or West Corridor. Oh, that one's locked. Intensive care unit or medical lab? Let's go to the intensive care unit. I see you. It's the body of Nurse Darius Simonis. His remains include several cracked ribs and a bruised skull. Nurse Simonis didn't take well to colony life after a while, and though he was well liked by other colonists, he could be devious. I still have access to a security report regarding Mr. Simonis. Apparently, after several years, he started getting into fights. How did Nurse Simonis contract those particular injuries, I wonder? I see your room B. Oh my. I'm afraid those are the remains of Nurse Yagmer Dahl. She was one of the more senior nurses before the Rift event. 
By the looks of that room, her body sustains serious exposure to the elements. But in her pocket is a data pad I can read. Nurse Doll's shift log. Feb you know what? I'm probably the only one still doing this. I hope later crews would benefit from our experience. It's been eight months now since that quake ruined the colony. Without a connection to the AI, we're flying blind in so many ways. The word was that Supervisor Tong was leading a team to Colony A to repair communications and get supplies. That was two months ago. We're doing the best we can. It's a faded handwritten note. You might not be able to see the ink very well, but I can read it. Read its traces for you. It says, Darius. Inability to run CAT scan means we can't properly diagnose. Use code MEDFILES to access the main system and see previous history. MEDFILES. Gotcha. That room is in quite a state. Those remains you just scanned are so compromised I can't determine to whom they belong. Medical lab. Okay, I'm thinking that's either... No, you know what? That is definitely a gigantic ice cream sandwich right there on that table. Mm-mm-mm. Great. That is a large package of standard medical rations. Your scan indicates its contents are still intact and viable. There must be more supplies available. Please keep looking. Okay, we're in the main medical network. I've used it to disable the locks in that room. You should be able to use the doors there now. Oh, this is interesting. There are medical records for most of the colonists. Some are missing or corrupted. Now, what's notable, however, is that the records for our four special colonists are absent as well. There might be hard copies of those records somewhere else, perhaps even in areas you've already been. Keep an eye out for them while you're looking for those medical supplies. Areas have already been, like perhaps a gigantic ice cream sandwich. It did look awfully suspicious. Uh, this isn't the way, is it? Was it this way? I don't remember if it was in the ICU or the other way. No. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like you've scanned gigantic oversized medical records for Director Pierre Tong. You will have no doubt you will no doubt find this interesting. He was known to work very long hours, and at one point his work ethic led to extreme exhaustion. It was Jean Lamumba who checked him into medical after one extreme case. But Mr. Tong, as you may know, was very stubborn, and continued to work very hard, possibly to his detriment. His record also notes suspected painkiller abuse. Despite this, he was checked in several more times for extreme exhaustion throughout the years. Now there should only be three more medical records to find. Oh, that looks like one down there. Is that not one? Yeah, I guess not. X-ray lab, password required. Exam room and north corridor. Uh, exam room. Let's take this exam and hopefully I can get an A. Is that a little nurse R2-D2? <laughs> That's adorable, it's got a little tiny nurse hat. 
that Operation Assistant Drone was destroyed in the collapse. We can't even salvage his parts for use elsewhere. His? Uh, please accept my apologies. You are correct. That was needlessly sentimental. The drone has no gender, of course. Well, that's fine, I'm just curious. The room is a complete write-off. There are medical drones buried underneath as well. Not all the casualties were human. More ice cream sandwiches. Oh, these ones are a little bit smaller though, I think. Oh, here we go. Uh, records on Leslie Barra something. The Agrodome's person. There are some very interesting details in there. In here. According to this, uh, Leslie suffered from mild claustrophobia. It says that she often complained about it when she was required to be in the main colony facility. It also says that she experienced mild allergies. Not to the earth plants she was cultivating, but to some of the natural elements from this planet. Apparently in her attempts to adapt flora to the local environment, and to create new breeds, she developed new allergies. I came here seeking help for them. Two more. Emergency room? What the heck is that? Another set of hand-drawn schematics. These seem even more complex than the last, but they're difficult to make out. They've been affected by exposure to the increasingly tainted air. They mention something about improving speed. I think you should mention these to Mr. Tong when you meet him in the Holosim chamber. He might be able to help. The drone has become completely corroded due to exposure. It likely served to the very end. Oh. Dr. Lance Magorian. He was a brilliant surgeon and a major asset to the facility. The doctor wasn't always popular with his subordinates, however. He was very impatient with staff who couldn't keep up with him. The water in those scrub stations is putrid and filthy. There are even small vines growing out of it, like the ones you found in the agrodomes. Ugh. Those are scrubs for the medical staff to wear when entering the operating room. They're supposed to be clean. Your scan, though, indicates they aren't as sterilized as they should be. <laughs> the staff are likely working in increasingly difficult conditions. Dr. Li Zhu, the head surgeon. She was incredibly ambitious and one of the youngest surgeons Hudson Cartier ever employed. According to my records, Dr. Li was a huge proponent of using drones for research and practice. She was very forward-thinking. This was a major point of contention between her and Dr. Magorian. He didn't think kindly of non-human medical staff. Access card. Another ice cream sandwich. Expedition Resource Management Lead Jean Lumumba. His record is long, but I can pull the salient details. He began to experience occasional but serious lumbar pain a couple of years ago, likely from all the physical labor he insisted on doing. And then, while working in the caves, Mr. Lumumba suffered a leg fracture and underwent laser reconstruction here at the facility. Because of Mr. Lumumba's continuous activity, the fracture continued to bother him and made his work more difficult. I have notes here about many subsequent medical visits. Uh, unfortunately, that batch of antibiotics and other general meds have been exposed and are no longer usable. Okay.
As the seismic events became worse, it must have become increasingly difficult to run a stable medical facility. Shows a, shows a disturbing collection of material on that bed. Reduced supplies likely meant a less than ideal scenario in there. Yeah, it's utterly filthy. Nutritional supplements will help you survive the long trip in the escape pod. Oh, good. It looks like the ER was quite busy at the time. There are numerous reports of fractures and major injuries. Medical records for comms relay chief, uh, Winnie Laurier. They are unfortunately not a happy collection of notes. Mrs. Laurier experienced anxiety throughout the duration of her post here. She had trouble relating to the other colonists, and that led to pronounced cases of stress. Eventually, she was diagnosed with depression, though according to these notes, she never really accepted that diagnosis. Well, you found our colonists' medical records. I wish we could leave, but you still need to see if there are any vi uh, viable medical supplies around. Alright, so I think we need to go back and read that access card. In the main terminal, probably. Yes, sysadmin bypass card. Inserting it brought up a debug menu of sorts. Most of what's here is useless, but there is a file that can be accessed. There's a truncated account of the last patient processed. Uh, patient, zero, McKenna, Melody, uh, Malady, danger to self and others. He continues, To my great dismay, Mr. McKenna had to be contained. Please forgive me for what I had to do. Uh-oh, another note in the file says, Don't open up his room until you're sure. He has grown dangerous. Year, year, month, month, day, day, but only if it's safe. Year, month, day. Okay, so what was there? Ah. So, uh, 600423. Alright. 600423. <laughs> Whew. What do they mean by became dangerous? Like, just normal dangerous? Or like, alien growth, like, the thing dangerous? <laughs> Guess we're about to find out. Oh boy, that room is in quite a state. It must smell quite strong in there. More supplies. Okay, so that's all I'm going to find. Head to the shuttle and come back home. Mmm, not just yet. Let's go a little bit further. God, it looks like they just tore this freaking room apart. This is what's left of X-ray technician Obaseki McKenna. He appears to have been locked away in that lab for some time. He likely died of malnutrition in the end, which would have been most unpleasant. He was clutching a letter. Lee, it took me a long time, but I forgive you. I know you did I know you did what you had to. I'm so sorry for everything. What he did to Darius was unforgivable. I know that now. Oh, so they killed Darius. So, did everybody else, like, just die and then they were just left here, locked in, until they died of malnutrition? Or did they willingly keep them, knowingly keep them locked in here, until they died?
That was that was very difficult to experience. Are you okay? I will need some time to think about all this. I was not prepared for how bad Colony B had become after after the rift event. Your scans revealed so much disease and filth. The colony became just as dangerous and toxic toxic inside as it did out here. Only now am I truly realizing how how disastrous losing contact with this place was. Maybe it's best if you just get home safely. Well done today. I know it wasn't easy. Please come to the court right away so we can process your findings. Alright, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to process the findings and speak with Pierre Tong in the Holosim Chamber. <laughs>